Yo, what's up, boys? It's your boy Ben, aka the Chicken and Rice Guy, whatever you want to call me. And uh, we're back with another posing tutorial video. For some reason, my last video of me about a year ago doing a posing tutorial got about 5,000 views, which is my most viewed YouTube video, I believe. Looking back at it, I look like absolute shit. So I figured, why not do an updated version? Here we are. I look a lot better now, I'm a lot heavier. Put on a lot more muscle, so, uh, and we got the, the tan gains, the color gains, you know what I'm saying, a lot darker now. As some of you know, we are on prep right now, we are currently about 13 weeks out from my first classic physique show. I've been working on a little posing routine, so make sure you stick around to the end to see my full posing routine. It's a little rough right now, I just started working on it, so it's not going to be perfect, it's not going to be exact. But it's going to give you guys a good idea of how to pose and shit like that. So I said this in the last video and I'll say it again. I am not a professional poser. I'm not an IFBB pro. But I definitely think I can help you guys out there that are learning to pose and want to learn how to hit some, some nice poses. So let's get into it, boys. Okay, so if you guys watched the first video, you know I said every pose starts with the feet. And I still believe in that. If you have your feet set shitty your pose will look weird. I personally, I go like 45 degrees. My uh, my left foot goes forward, my right back foot is back here and it's facing that way. And I offset my hips just to create more of like the X in a way. So I'm there, you flex your quads obviously. And then there's so many poses you can do up top from this foot position. We'll just go through basic ones first. So front double bicep, like I said, feet planted like this. Bang, offset the hips. I personally like to do a vacuum. You could do abs, could do vacuum. I just do the vacuum because it looks better on me. Makes my waist look smaller, looks better. So front double will look like this. A lot of people on the front double don't get their lats out. It just looks like this. It's not what you want to do. I don't know if you saw me do the front double, but I go like this first and I come around because it helps me like bring my lats out. So I'm like this. My lats are already out. And that's another thing that you'll need to learn as soon as possible is the lat spread. If you can't spread your lats and you don't have any lat control, your poses aren't gonna look the best, okay? Because especially in classic physique, you're going for the X frame. And if you can't get your lats out, there's no X frame there, you know? Even if you have big lats. Another thing that a lot of people mess up with the front double is gonna be how high your elbows are and where your forearm is, okay? So if I'm here, I'm just not gonna vacuum because I can't talk and vacuum at the same time, so I'm just gonna do a front double. I personally think elbows should be slightly above your shoulders. Okay, just to bring out the peak more. Your pinkies, you twist them in and you make a fist. A lot of people as well, with their forearms, they bring them down like here. And obviously you don't wanna do that. I'd say maybe like a 70, 80 degree angle between your upper arm and your forearm, okay? So it should look like this. Not like this. Okay, that looks awful. And the next one's gonna be the lat spread. Like I said before, the lat spread is very important. Same feet placement, I think. You could vary it, especially if you're just starting out, try to stick to a feet placement that's comfortable. It's kind of like the same as the front double, but you're here. I bring my shoulders back and down. With your hands, you grab your hips, and then you keep your, your shoulders back there and down, and then you bring your elbows forward, and your lats should come out. It's gonna feel weird at first, if you just keep practicing it, you'll get a lot better at it and it'll feel a lot more natural. Posing is all angles. So I think with the front lat spread, you should be pushing your waist back, right? So when you're here, if you push your waist back and you bring your upper body forward like this, your waist is gonna appear smaller and your upper half is gonna appear wider, which is gonna give you more of the the V. So next pose will be the back lat spread. Feet placement is a little different just because with this one, obviously you can't see your quads. So what's behind the quads? Hamstrings. You want to be flexing your hamstrings instead of your quads. Either your left or right foot, you got to bring it out. This one stays here. Maybe like a foot back compared to where your other front foot is. Okay, you're flexing your calf, you're on your toes. And then you're flexing your hamstring. And then with this one, it's the opposite of the front. Okay, so you want to push your waist forward and you want to lean back. So your back appears wider than it actually is, okay? Same thing, elbows back and down. I grab my hips with my hands. Should look something like that. Next pose is gonna be a side chest 
Feet placement is a little different on this one as well. Back foot, that's where a lot of your, your pressure is gonna be on, on your back foot, okay? You're gonna bring this, this leg in. I like to scrape it personally, because it pushes my hamstring out a little bit. You wanna scrape this leg onto this leg, and then you wanna use your back, back leg to push out the hamstring. A little calf flex, use your back hand to grab your front wrist. This hand makes a fist. Back arm is pushing against the back chest, but bring it all together. Swipe this here, come down, make sure that's popping out, calf flexed. All right, next pose, side tricep. With the side tricep, I feel like there's multiple feet placements that you can use. First one being the same as the side chest. Usually I transition from a side chest to a side try. I just go like there, and I go like that, okay? And then you flex your abs. Right here, front hand, grabbing the fingers like this, and you're gonna push it down, like that. And then you wanna open up and then flex abs, right? So it's gonna look like this. Another feet placement you can use for the side tricep, this foot, I like to bring it from here, around like this, and then I stomp it, and then same thing, abs, flex, tricep. Those are the two options for the side try. Next, will be a front ab crunch. I think it looks best with the same feet placement as the front double. So like I said before, back foot is back here, facing this way, front foot in front, facing this way, quads flexed, waist off put over here. A lot of times with the front ab crunch, I see a lot of people just put their hands open, palm behind their head like this. You know, it works, but I would argue your arms are gonna look a lot bigger if you do the same thing with the front double. You make fists with your hands and curl your pinkies diagonal and across your hand, right? So that you bring up the peak on your biceps. So when you go behind your head, you're like this. See, I have fists in my hands. I put them behind my head like this and my arms look a lot bigger, right? Like I said, offset the waist. You can do abs or vacuum like this. And that's the front ab crunch slash vacuum. If you have a good vacuum, be sure to th throw that in there once in a while with your poses. All right, next one will be a back double bicep. One foot up in front, the next one is gonna be like a foot behind, on your toe with your calf flexed, and then obviously hamstrings flexed. You're gonna come back and down, and you're gonna spread them like that. All together should look like this. Like I said, my back double is probably my worst pose. It's not bad but could be a lot better. We'll be working on that through prep. Yeah, I would say the back poses are probably gonna be some of the hardest because you can't look at your back in the mirror. So I try to record myself a lot and then work on things. I don't really wanna go through any men's physique poses because you know, there's only like fucking two. No offense to men's physique, but I just think the poses are very basic. One I've been doing that I've been really liking, same feet placement as the front double and the front last spread. It's like you're doing a last spread just with one arm and then this arm comes here once again, I push my waist this way and I twist it because from the camera angle, my waist will look a lot smaller like this, watch. Then we have the uh, Greek God poses. You're gonna notice, especially with your own physique, which feet placements work best for you. I just think getting in the habit of like getting comfortable on your feet is gonna be key. This one's called the crucifix, I believe. You can flex your abs or you can do a vacuum. I'm gonna do a vacuum because it's gonna look better. Same feet placement, waist offset. It's more of like a Greek god pose, aesthetic pose, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. And then you have uh, similar to a front double, but you come here. One thing you'll find after posing as well, very out of breath, it's almost hard for me to talk right now. I've been posing for like what, like fucking 10, 15 minutes already? I think that's all of the, the main poses though, the poses that I think look the best. We can talk about transitions now. One thing I've noticed is like cutting my posing videos between poses is kind of annoying. So if I get good transitions, you know, I don't have to cut the video because the transitions are clean. So I'm gonna go through some basic transitions for you guys. Like I said, we'll start with the front double. We'll go front double, into a front lat spread, into this pose, into a side chest, into a side try, into a back double, back lat spread, okay? And also when you hit your first pose, make it like an entrance, right? So don't just go from here. You know, I personally, I set my feet. I let my arms just flow, I let them do their thing. Don't, you don't wanna look robotic, 
okay, especially on your feet as well. You just want to be light on your feet here. And once you're here, you're going to come here. You're going to grab onto your waist from front lat spread. You're going to come here, twist your waist a little bit. Bang here, twist, side chest, from side chest, let this arm drop, flex the try, hand around, grab here, leg open, stomp the quad, flex abs, this is probably one of the less clean transitions because you have to do a full 180 so it's kind of hard to do like a clean transition so I just like turn around you know I haven't figured out a way to transition it like super clean into like a back pose so I'm here and I just turn everything with the arms right so I'm here and then that's it those are the main poses with transitions to go along. Like I said before, I'm not a professional poser, but I still do get a lot of questions on how I got so good at posing. And uh, the main thing that I tell everybody is just to practice. I've been posing probably for over a year now, just recording myself. Uh, a lot of people just don't want to practice, okay? And that's what you got to do. You got to set your fucking phone up in the gym. You got to stop worrying about what other people are thinking, okay? I feel like that's the downfall of a lot of you guys out there, especially the young ones. You guys are too worried about what other people are thinking. Your friends are going to make fun of you or whatever for fucking posting, like posing videos or whatever, or practicing posing. You just got to let that shit go. But yeah, that's going to do it for the video. I'm going to leave it off with my posing routine for my classic physique show coming up. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, all right?